our thoughts, self-awareness, understanding how we think, how do we change it? And for anybody out there that's having a hard time making these changes or see these cycles show up over and over again, just remember that when you try to make these changes, it is a direct attack on your original belief system. So anyone finding it difficult to change your way of thinking, like I have good news, because I can tell you that, I can tell you why. And it brings more comfort. It's because your subconscious has worked very hard to affirm and prove these old broken belief systems right. Like your subconscious is always out to prove you right. We have to be careful of the imagery in our mind around the things that we want because we bring those things about. So changing your picture is very difficult because again, it's a direct attack on your existing belief that your subconscious has worked very hard to affirm. That's why there is resistance always. And that's why it takes like a massive amount of action and accountability, ownership, over the domain in your mind and the domain in your head no one can take that no one can change it no one can undermine it unless you allow it so intentionality around this is a must if you want to change the way that you show up to your everyday life and you just want to feel better that's what we always talk about here when we talk about thoughts emotions actions so we can open up you know a lot of different topics in the land of executive uh unicorns i guess you could call it that and there's a lot of different mindset topics but we always circle back to it always the core of the conversation always comes back to self-awareness thoughts emotions actions that's what i know is true and that's what i know people generally struggle with the inflation is happening but it's our thoughts about it that are going to directly impact how we navigate the experience and what we believe to be true but this would be my second recession like in in my adulthood right so 2008 and now so this is just your big reminder that we've all been here already it's not like this is is something that we haven't seen. Everybody, let me remind you that you are adults, you have been here before, you have the power to navigate this. If you have to play out the worst case scenarios that your brain is trying to create for you, you go into extreme poverty, you lose your investments, all the things that people are so deeply afraid of right now, but we have to get down to the facts. So then you can organize your thoughts and quiet the noise a bit because you are all high achieving professionals and you're desired in the workplace. Give yourself an allotted time. Like, okay, I'm gonna let myself go down this rabbit hole for like maximum five minutes. And then I'm just going to choose to not participate in this right now. Cause it's not gonna serve you at all anyway. Tim and I use the words recession proof because we're so focused on building our own economy. I understand how much money I need to create X, Y, Z kind of life. I can reverse engineer my actions to stay in check with what I can control. So controlling the controllable. The main thing you control is the domain in your mind which is going to be the lens that you see all of this unfold. And we all know that there are certain narratives out there, illusions that don't really exist. All of us have probably had some sort of awakening about this at some point in our life. We need to manage our thoughts. During times like this, regardless of a recession or not, people have to adapt, change, grow, and evolve. The most exciting companies are going to be looking at it that way. How can they deploy more technology? How can they build higher performing teams? All of that is being looked at. During the beginning of COVID, our business mentor was writing what he called emergency business plan. I was thinking I should write emergency career planning. I was like, all of our clients are like in an emergency. All of them are in a crisis if they don't have a job that they love. And then it really came together for me. I was like, that was my own brain messing with me for a second. Just come back to the idea that your career is in a state of crisis. That's really what we have to focus on. Businesses are willing to invest in the growth of their teams right now. I'm seeing it big time. And they're looking at things differently. Just us, for example, we are changing almost everything about our marketing, our leads, our sales, our conversations, because there is all this noise and it's really cool. So I have two ways to look at that. I could be super freaking scared out of my mind, or I could dive into it and become an innovator. Like which one of those sounds more exciting? You guys might've heard that TikTok voiceover. What do you do when you don't feel like you have it all together? And the girl says, I fake it till I make it. She goes, oh yeah. And she goes, yeah, it's either that or cry myself to sleep. Who wants to do that? We have like two choices in all of this. It's very easy to find yourself in a mental, physical block 
That's why self-awareness is feels like such a job, especially when your brain goes into overload. Any tough time in life, there's PTSD like wrapped in, in into that. So anybody who experienced workplace trauma or extreme difficulty, you're going to be looking at this experience through that lens just naturally. But we also have to train our minds to choose new thoughts, right? We're living in, in a completely different world in terms of direct outreach, through technology, right? There are so many cool things happening with technology. And then again, choosing new thoughts about, hey, you know what, instead of focusing on it being really tough, we're focusing on XYZ company. I'm going to focus on the companies that are getting very innovative. I am valuable in the marketplace. We have to choose new thoughts or you will get stuck. And the narrative that your mind is going, and the program your mind is going to continue running is this is going to be tough. If the thought is this could get tough, then the emotion behind that becomes fear, maybe some anxiety, and then the action is t or no action. You can cut any chaos out of your thought process if you follow the formula of just knowing that thoughts generate emotions and emotions generate actions. And where we get in trouble is the thought. And so if you find yourself in lack of action or having anxiety or swirling in question marks, you can go, oh, okay, what thought landed me here? Well, the thought could be as simple as this is gonna be really tough. Or like my thought about today was, oh my God, I'm too tired to do this. And if I keep telling myself, I'm too tired to do this, I'm too tired to do this, well, guess what? I'm gonna freaking be too tired to do this. And I wasn't tired. I got a full night's sleep. I'm not even tired. So we, we just have to watch I know things in a recession can get very complicated. I'm not pretending that we're living in the land of sparkles, okay? I'm just saying that we get to choose the way we think about it, adapt, and pursue things. Like we're in control of that. Nobody can take away the fact that that is, like, that is true. Like that is true. We get to choose the thoughts, adapt, grow, and pursue what we want. And then what thoughts can we choose about that experience to alleviate some of the trauma and alleviate some of the fear and anxiety? And then choosing thoughts around what tools and resources you now, what you have now. Well, you have Tim and you have Asparis, you have so much more outreach. What in 2008, could you imagine having, or 2003 having LinkedIn automation? Oh my God. So now we just get to choose to bring those new things into this experience and choose to have a powerful foundation in the way that we're thinking because nothing good can happen if we don't have control of these thoughts that are running wild. I have to work every day to get my myself in a state of being excited about that. And then when I'm excited and open to adaptation, then I'm looking at the world through a lens of massive opportunity. Because when you're closed off to that, or you have these blockages, or you're not having self-awareness and you're not adapting and growing and evolving, then you're missing opportunity. Exactly. You're missing opportunities. You're missing money. You're missing growth. You're missing relationships everything you're closed off to, to everything in the world and usually it's when we're in this mindset of like fear anxiety depression now i understand not everybody is up wanting to go to bat with like evolution every single day but i'm i certainly am and it, and it doesn't look the same every day some days it could just be hey i did one thing to prove that subconscious belief wrong today but I have to do that to feel pretty good every day. There has to be something I'm doing. I'm not doing the extreme every single day, but it's like something every single day. And in those conversations, you have to have the energy of, hey, I'm open and aware of the evolution in the world right now. We can't be like closed off to that. You have to ask yourself personally, what is it gonna take for you to get excited about the ways that the world is evolving?